Dear children, today we will learn about very important concept that is electric flux. So before starting electric flux, let me clarify about area vector. So you remember here we will consider area as a vector quantity. If area is a vector quantity, then what is its direction? Let us consider a body. So it is a surface. So remember, area vector is always along outward run normal to the surface. Area vector is along the normal drawn outward direction to the surface. It is the surface. What is the area vector of this surface? That is this. It is the direction of area vector. For this surface, what is the direction of area vector? This. For this surface, what is the direction of area vector? Towards right. For this surface, what is the direction of the area vector? Towards left. Similarly, for this surface, what is the direction of area vector? This one. For this surface, like this. Similarly, if you are asked, if a surface is lying parallel to the xy plane, then what is the direction of the area vector? That is along z axis. Similarly, if a surface is lying parallel to yz plane, what is the direction of the area vector? You know, x axis is perpendicular to yz plane. So, the direction of the area vector is along x axis. So, you remember, always area vector is along the outward drawn normal to the surface. So, here you see, if it is the surface, what is the direction of the area vector along the normal? It is the direction of the area vector. It is represented by n cap n for normal and that cap represents unit vector. Yes or no? So similarly, for this surface, what is the direction of the area vector? That is along this. That is not going to the surface. The area here or the surface here is like this. So any area vector that can be represented as you see ds vector here this vector as here we have taken area magnitude is ds and vector indicates here we have represented ds vector means area vector the magnitude is ds and what is the direction along the normal to the surface so along that normal direction I have taken unit vector n cap. When you multiply unit vector, you know magnitude is one unit. When you multiply n cap, there is no change in the magnitude because ds into one that is ds. But this n cap gives you the direction. So any area vector can be represented as ds vector is equal to ds into n cap. So now come it is about your area vector. Let me start electric flux. So first tell me what do you mean by flux? Flux means that is flow. Flux means flux. You remember flux means that is continuous flow. Continuous flow. So how can we understand flux? For flux to understand, you consider a stream of water or a stream of liquid. Always flux, when, while you are uh, studying flux or considering flux, then you must have to consider a surface. Suppose it is a stream of liquid. I want to find what the flux 
associated with this surface. When you put the surface like this on the perpendicular to the stream of flow, then what happens? The whole surface block the stream. Yes or no? If you rotate the surface like this, again, when it is, when the surface is perpendicular to the flow of the liquid, then what is the direction of the area vector and what is the uh, angle made by the area vector with the direction of flow? You know, area vector is always perpendicular to the surface. As the area vector is always perpendicular to the surface, and here, as the surface is perpendicular to the flow, then the area vector is parallel to the flow of the liquid. So, when you put the surface in the perpendicular direction to the flow of the liquid, then the whole surface will block the liquid. So, now we consider the amount of the liquid blocked by the surface is called as flux. If you rotate the area like this, if you rotate like this, so for this orientation, now let me to know what is the flux linking with the surface. So when you put the surface like this, now the whole surface will not block the liquid. So what is the uh, amount of the liquid blocked by this surface? That is not by this whole surface that is by this surface, that is the surface perpendicular to the flow. So the whole surface here is not perpendicular to the liquid flow. It is the, it is the surface, this amount of surface that is the perpendicular to the flow of the liquid. So the amount of the liquid block will be less. As it is less, so here flux decreases. If you put the surface like this, then what happens? If, the, if you put the, your liquid is flowing like this, if you put the surface like this, now what is the angle made by the area vector to the flow of the liquid? Area vector is J along the normal. So here, area vector makes an angle 90 degree to the flow of the liquid. So now what is the amount of the liquid uh, blocked by this surface? So you see, if you ignore this, uh, cross-sectional area because I have taken here the surface not the block so now you ignore this surface as we ignore now what is the amount of the liquid block no so here flux is zero so when the flux is zero when area vector is perpendicular to the direction of flow when the flux is maximum when the surface is perpendicular to the direction of flow Surface is perpendicular means area vector makes an angle 0 degree. So it is you have some idea about the electric uh, about the flux. So now come to the electric flux. So what is electric flux? So you know when the flux is maximum, when the surface is normal to the direction of the flow means area vector makes an angle 0 degree. When it is minimum, when area vector is perpendicular to the direction of the flow. That is, the surface is parallel to the direction of the flow. So here you see, it is the surface, it is the direction of electric field, you see electric field direction like this. That means here, surface is perpendicular to the direction of the electric field. That means area vector is n cap represented by n cap. Area vector is parallel to the direction of the electric field. Here the whole surface contributes to the electric flux. So electric flux phi is equal to E into S. But here you see it is the surface and electric field direction is this one. Suppose electric field makes an angle theta with the direction of the area vector. Then what happens? The whole surface has not the contribution to the electric flux. Then what happens? We have to take the component of the electric field 
with the direction of the surface. To the component the electric field to the uh, in the direction of the area vector. So what is the component? You know the solution of the vector. It makes an angle theta with the perpendicular direction. Then uh, here the component along this normal direction that is e cos theta. So here flux i is equal to e cos theta into s. You can write here e cos theta into s that is e s cos theta. That you know electric field is a vector quantity. Also area here we learn that is a vector quantity. So e s cos theta we can write it the dot product of electric field and area vector. So as electric flux is the dot product of electric field vector and area vector, so electric flux is a scalar quantity. So here these are some electric field lines. If you put the surface like this perpendicular to the direction of the electric field, then what happens? You see what the number of field lines. It is 5. If you put the surface like this, then you see number of field line decreases. If you, that is here, it is 4. If you put the surface like this, then no field line is linked with the surface. So here also you can say the electric flux, alternatively you can define the electric flux is the total number of electric field lines cutting through the surface. So, what is the unit of the electric flux? Electric flux phi is equal to, you will learn that is e into s. Phi is equal to e into s when s is perpendicular to the direction or area vector is parallel to the direction of the electric field. Then, what is the direction of the flux? What is the unit of the flux for electric field? It is Newton. Coulomb inverse and for area it is meter square so it is Newton meter square Coulomb inverse and for dimension you know for the Newton means force it is m1 l1 t minus 2 and for meter means length it is l2 and Coulomb means charge that is a1 t1 to the power minus 1 when you calculate here you see it is L1, here it is L1, it is L2, it is L3, then here T minus 2, here T1 is minus 1, T minus 1, T minus 1 here you got, T minus 2 that is T minus 3, and again A1 it is minus 1, that is A minus 1. So it is your dimension. Uh, it is the dimensional formula. The dimensions are 1, 3, minus 3, minus 1 in terms of mass, length, time and current respectively. So here, what is the sign of the electric flux? What is the sign of the electric flux? Sign of electric flux. It is a surface. So these are some electric field lines. So here you see, if you take a small surface area at here, let it be ds. What is the direction? What is the area, what direction of the area vector? That is perpendicular to here. It is NK. It is the direction of the electric field vector. You see this angle theta more than 90. In which case, when the flux is entering. When the flux is entering. When theta is more than 90 degree, then cos theta is equal to negative. Therefore, flux is equal to E s cos theta that is equal to negative. So you remember when flux enter the sign is negative. When the flux leaves, you see it is the direction of the electric field. 
and what is the area vector? The directional area vector is this one. What is the angle? Angle here theta less than 90. When? When flux leaving. Flux leaving this surface. Here cos theta is positive. Therefore, flux phi is equal to E s cos theta that equal to sin h positive. So you remember flux entering is negative and flux leaving is positive. Here when calculating flux, the sign of the electric flux is very important. So now if the electric field is not uniform, you here learn phi is equal to E vector dot S vector. If the electric field is not uniform, then what happens? You have to take a small element, Ds. First to find what is the electric flux linking with this small element. Let it be D phi. D phi is equal to E vector dot this vector. Then what is the total electric flux? Total electric flux that will be integration of E vector dot ds vector. This integration you can say it is surface integration over the surface. So it is all about your electric flux.